Ladies, gentlemen, and residents of all ages, tonight's featured match will be a money in the bank letter match for the Lumber Jillville Tag Team Championships. First, let's introduce the challengers. In the yellow corner, we have the power couple of Queen Diva Marie and Dex E. And now, let's introduce your Lumber Jillville Tag Team Champions. Comer Alexa. Mare's on a mission. Alright, I want a good keen fight between the two teams. No hair pulling. No eye poking. And no wee wee kicks. Ah, crap. That's my whole arsenal. The first competitor to ascend the latter and obtain the money in the bank briefcase will bring their team home a victory and the Lumber Jillville Tag Team Championships. Uh, hold on a sec. Doesn't winning the Money in the Bank briefcase usually give you a title shot, not the actual titles themselves? Not tonight. All you need to do is grab the briefcase to win the titles. Let's get it on. <laughs> Poor choice of words, Secretary Stasse. There could be kids watching out there. Isn't that right, Comer Alexa? <laughs> okay, that's a good start. Hey, Dexy, I have an idea. How about me and you just climb up the ladder together and do rock, paper, scissors at the top to determine who wins? I can't see! Help! 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 Okay. I can do this. Okay, Comer Alexa, you realize this isn't the UFC. You don't need to obliterate her. This is my chance to finally get my anger out on our lousy queen. Okay. Uh, okay, Dexy. Best of three. We're gonna go rock, paper, scissors, shoot. You ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Ah, paper covers rock. First round goes to me, buddy. Alright, second round, two or three. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Thanks for letting me win, Dexy. Even though I guess it wasn't fair because you can only choose rock. But I think you let me win on purpose because we go way back. We're good pals. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to grab the briefcase. Hey, Dexy. Hey, let go, man. Why aren't you letting go? I got to grab this thing. No, uh, uh. <laughs> no, no. Uh, uh! Oh, wow. Dexy threw Marin off the latter. That won't help his fear of heights. Ah, Dexy, help! I'm trapped! Ah. Not today, you backstabbing traitor. <laughs> I can't believe you betrayed Mayor Aaron. <laughs> and your winners and still lumber Jillville tag team champions. Mayor's on a mission. Oh, wait, 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 she did it? Oh, we, we did it? Oh. Oh. Come here, Alexa, you did it for us. Not only did you help me get over my fear heights today, but you helped us retain the LJV Tag Team Championships. And I'll be honest, these things mean a lot to me, but not as much as you do. Now, uh, let's get me to a doctor. Pretty sure I'm bleeding internally. Oh, yeah. Okay, nice and slow. Yep.
Hey y'all, welcome to Lumberjillville. Women's wrestling lives here. Before we get started, I just want to remind you to please hit subscribe to become an official resident of LJV and get a first look at all future women's wrestling figure reviews and women's wrestling figure specials like today's very exciting figure history of Carmella figures. Now anyone that watches the channel knows that I am a huge Carmella fan. She is one of my favorites. And one of the main reasonings is when I really got into the women's division in WWE, she was SmackDown Women's Champion, and I absolutely loved watching her cut her promos, wrestle her matches, and I just watched her career progress and watched her grow in and out of the ring over the years, and that always formed some type of attachment. So I'm a big fan of Carmella, definitely support her, and hey, I've been wearing a Carmella hat since day one in Lumber Jillville. Now that being said, there's eight figures to cover, and I'm real excited to do this, so let's dive right in. Carmella's first in the line figure with WWE Basic Series 70 released in 2017. This attire is from the November 18th, 2015 episode of NXT where Carmella would be defeated by Nia Jax. This was actually filmed on October 22nd of that same year. So Carmella is one of those superstars that it did take them a few figures before they really got her likeness good. And in my opinion, this facial sculpt is a bit of a miss. I don't think it's terrible, but I think the likeness is definitely a little bit off. But I think it's a cool figure, it's visually appealing, and it's cool that it depicts her time in NXT. So taking a closer look at that face, now this was before TrueFX face came technology, but the face sculpt itself, it's just a little bit off in my opinion. I don't think it's horrible, but I definitely think there's a little bit to be desired. But I do like the inclusion of the pink lipstick, her eyelashes are painted on with a nice detail, and the hair sculpt itself is cool and I like the sandy blonde color that they went with there. Now moving on down to the attire, it is important to note that this was when the women's basics had elite articulation, so we get a lot of articulation here on this basic figure. Now the top is just painted over this little sculpt where they're sculpting between the chest. We have Fabulous on the front. We have a lot of different color stripes painted on. We even have a little cheetah leopard print that goes all the way around, which is definitely a nice detail. Now her bottoms are just black painted on, but fabulous on the waistband all the way around. Very cool. She has these high black socks and her signature high top sneakers with that leopard cheetah print there on the sneakers. So yeah, I think this is definitely a cool figure to start off and let's continue. Battle Pack Series 53 released in 2018. This attire is from the November 15th, 2016 episode of SmackDown. Mella's match with Nikki Bella would end in a no contest after Charlotte would interfere. An all-out brawl ensued between that year's Survivor Series Raw and SmackDown women's teams. So fast forward to her second figure released, and it was about a year later, and right away you can see that that elite style articulation is gone. You know, that first in line figure of Mela's is the only basic she has that has that elite articulation. But other than that, this figure is striking. I think this is an amazing figure. One of the best women's figures released in the Battle Pack series. The Zelina Vega that came with Andrade is another one that I think is just spectacular. But yeah, this is a very cool figure. We have that same facial sculpt here with a little bit of difference as far as the lip color goes. Everything else looks to be about the same. The hair sculpt and color, I think that works just fine. Now, what really stands out is the attire itself. Now, this attire is painted on very intricately. We have like this mesh pattern painted on the top there. It goes all the way around. We could even have, oh, it's a sculpted uh, bra strap there. So that's definitely a cool feature and design that I honestly didn't notice until right now. So that's definitely cool. She has an armband painted around her right arm with the Carmella logo. Now what's cool, she has these baggy type pants that are sculpted, very cool to her. And underneath that we have a little fabulous waistband that goes around and it is layered to where it looks like the pants are on top of that, which is great. And on the side of the pants, we have thin white lines and in between like this leopard cheetah print with a metallic gold finish that looks spectacular. And her shoes are a gold with a lot of sculpted detail, the high top shoes here, even with the strap sculpted on, black laces and white bottoms. So this is a fantastic figure in my opinion and definitely one of her best surprisingly, even if it did come with James Ellsworth. Ugh. Basic Series 89 released in 2018. This attire is from the November 7th, 2017 episode of SmackDown. On this night, Becky Lynch would defeat James Ellsworth in a Battle of the Sexes match. After the match, Carmella would super kick Ellsworth, turning on him. Alright, so just being honest, this is one of the worst women's wrestling figures 
I have seen, one of the worst ones I have here in my collection, and it's solely because that face sculpt and face scan. Now, that's unfortunate because this era of Carmella, this is actually the only figure that depicts the one-piece bathing suit style uh, ring attire, and that was my favorite era of Carmella. I really wish we got more figures wearing that one piece. I think that was great. There was that one Carmella singlet that had like the checker patterns and the tealish blue. That's my favorite attire she's ever worn. But either way, let's look at why this figure is so bad. So this facial sculpt is the reason. It is horrendous. It is terrifying. In my opinion, it looks nothing like Carmella. You put this head on a different body and no one's going to be able to figure out who it is. And that's the tall tale sign of a bad sculpt and in my opinion it doesn't get much worse than this also they went away from the sandy blonde and they made it like this yellow color it's just a straight yellow color not the most appealing now like i said she does have this one piece bathing suit style ring attire painted on and i think that's cool but it's unfortunate this is the only figure we got depicting that it is just all black with white trim fabulous on the front and even the letters and fabulous are painted on pretty sloppily and the little leopard cheetah pattern is too so not that appealing we have the high socks and then the high top sneakers are a little different this time but they're just all plain white with not a lot of detail so they definitely took a step back with this figure but i promise it gets way better Fan Central Series 2 Elite released in 2019. This attire was worn on the June 18th, 2017 Money in the Bank pay-per-view during the first ever women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Carmella would win due to James Ellsworth's help. She also wore this attire on the June 27th, 2017 edition of SmackDown where Carmella would win in a redo of the first ever women's Money in the Bank match. Alright, so in my opinion, this is one of, if not the most underrated women's wrestling figure elites, of all time. This figure is fantastic. The accessories are abundant, unique, and awesome, and the attire has so much attention to detail in it, it's breathtaking. And this face sculpt and scan is actually the very first and only time we get this particular sculpt and scan. Some people think it's the best, some think it's the second best, but either way, it's a really excellent sculpt and scanned. So yeah, this figure comes with tons of accessories here. It obviously depicts her Money in the Bank ladder match win. Now, right away, what's really cool and she comes with this hat here with the gold brim. And that is actually what I wear. What I wear in most of my intros and my reviews here. It's my favorite hat that I have. And it's cool that this figure comes with that. She also comes with a Carmella chain, beautifully sculpted. She comes with the women's money in the bank briefcase here. Very cool. And yeah, let's look at that face sculpt and scan. So this was TrueFX face scan technology. And I think they did an excellent job. The reason, I don't know if it's my favorite, is the lack of emotion and expression. And see, she's so expressionate and has so much energy. And this scan doesn't really give that. But I think it does do a good job of capturing her likeness. And they went back with that kind of dirty blonde color, which looks excellent. But yeah, this scan and sculpt is pretty dang good. It's actually a beautiful sculpt and scan, but I don't know if it's my favorite as we'll see later. Now the attire itself is really, really cool. We have these $100 bills painted all over front and back of the attire. Excellent, excellent. We even have the cheap cheetah leopard print on the border of that top there. And we have fabulous on the bottom, fabulous around the waistband. And we do have that baggy pant sculpt on the top here. We even have drawstring sculpted on. We have that Leopard Cheetah stripe going down the side, and then we have her sneakers. So this figure is truly a gorgeous figure. If you've ever seen this in person, this is one of those figures that looks so much better in person than even images online. Basic Series 106, regular version, released in 2020. This attire is from the December 20th, 2019 edition of SmackDown. On this night, Carmella would defeat Sonya Deville, making her tap out to the Code of Silence. All right, so this figure I think is cool, but there's a lot of head-scratching decisions here. Now, first of all, they gave her a brand new face scan and face sculpt, and this is actually my favorite in my opinion because it has emotion behind it, right? She's smiling, definitely gives that personality off that Carmella has, and I think that's excellent. It also looks just like her. Now, the hair sculpt itself is really cool. It's that high ponytail. The scrunchies painted a little blue. Now, the hair color is like a yellowish color. It's not as bad as that third basic, but it's... It's okay. Now, the body sculpt itself, now, there are some confusing things here. Like, right here, she has a smoothed over belly button, which is horrible. She should have a dimpled belly button. This is simulating that there's cloth on top, and there's not. It's a bare midsection, so that's just an eyesore, in my opinion. And also, the part choices that they gave her not only makes her way too tall, but she does not stand on her own. If you have this figure, I challenge you to try to make her stand. 
in a normal pose, not like that, on a normal pose on her own because it's hard. You almost have to hunch her over. Now, another thing, a big debate topic that a lot of people were complaining about when they got this figure, why are the legs a different skin color? Well, this is actually a really nice detail. They painted it a darker color to simulate her wearing pantyhose. And that's very accurate and very cool, and I really did appreciate that little detail, so definitely nice. Now, the attire itself is this blue color, and it is painted on very clean. We have white and blue accents throughout, metal on the back, the C on her behind. We have blue knee pads, blue socks, and blue sneakers. So I think this is a solid basic, but like I said, there's some decisions here as far as the body sculpt goes. That's a little head scratching, but I do think the chase is better, and let's cover that next. Basic Series 106 Chase Version, released in 2020. This attire is from the 2019 Royal Rumble pay-per-view, which took place on January 27th. On this night, Mella would wear this attire during the Women's Rumble. Mella was the 30th entrant and lasted 7 minutes and 12 seconds before Charlotte would eliminate her. Becky Lynch would go on to win the Rumble on this night. Alright, so the Chase version is actually making me wish that I had one MOC. I like to keep the women's chases, both the elites and the basics, MOC in my collection. I don't have this one MOC, so I need to find that because this is definitely a cool figure. It's the one and only time we get a brunette Carmella, which is very cool. And the attire here is drastically different as far as the paint deco goes compared to the regular version. The body sculpt's the same, so she still doesn't stand very well. Still has that smooth over belly button, but here... We have this brunette brown hair, and it looks fantastic. It looks really cool. She has a purple scrunchie in there, and the attire is an orange with purple and white accents. Really cool. And on the back this time, we have Mela and Money. So instead of the C on the behind, we have Money. So that's definitely cool. She has purple knee pads, purple socks, and black sneakers. And she also has a little bit darker on her legs to simulate the pantyhose. So I think this is definitely a unique basic, and it really does stand out compared to the regular versions. One of my favorite repaint uh, chase versions, in my opinion, that I have in my collection. Elite Series 86 SummerSlam Wave released in 2021. This attire is from SummerSlam 2018, which took place on August 19th. On this night, Carmella came into the pay-per-view the SmackDown Women's Champion, but lost the title to Charlotte in a triple threat match that also included Becky Lynch. So this is how that SummerSlam Elite should have came. This is how it should have came with the SmackDown Women's Championship and with some awesome sunglasses like this, not to mention a fabric jacket that matches the pants. But this is obviously a fix-up. I added the championship here, and these are Michael P.S. Hayes glasses that I just trimmed to fit her face a little bit, but I think it really adds to the figure. Now, if we're looking at the actual figure and how it was released, this is what we have here, and I still think this is a fantastic figure. I think it's a beautiful figure. It's actually one of my favorites for sentimental reasons. You know, in 2021, it won, like, my personal pick figure of the year because it's just sentimental to me. This is when I really got into the women's division. She was SmackDown Women's Champion, and that's what this look depicts. It's also a fantastic figure. It's on my desk at all times. It's the one that I'm always moving around and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, it, it's one of my favorites. Now, that face sculpt and scan, it works beautifully on this figure. And the improvement that they made here is the scrunchie isn't just painted like the top line. The whole thing is painted like this neon pink. That's definitely appealing. I absolutely love this sculpt and scan. Now, she's smiling. Same as the basics, but it does work here. Now, the top is just sculpted on. We do have this little weird ledge that's flesh colored that they kind of messed up with the paint there. But the top itself, even though it does look sloppy with the fabulous text, that's actually accurate to how it looked that night. So the paint application on the top is pretty decent with the black and pink with the little cheetah leopard outline there. Now what's cool is we get these fabric pants that say fabulous. Very, very awesome. I think that's a cool addition there. I do wish we got the jacket, but you know what? That's eh, okay. Now if we take those off here, we have the bottoms that actually have a lot of paint detail here. Fabulous waistband in pink. The text there and even the leopard cheetah print there on the thighs. We also have that dollar sign on the back. Mel on the back up there. We have these black sleeves that are all the way up past her knees. And then we have these really cool sneakers that are white and black with these little pink accents. So she also has white fingernail polish and that's pretty cool to show. But yeah, this is one of my favorite elites. I understand it's probably not one of the best if people are giving their best women's elites, but sentimentally, I love this figure. I just wish it came like this, and it should have. There's no reason why we only got soft goods pants for this figure. We should have got her looking like this. Basic Series 129 released in 2022. This attire is from the 2021 Royal Rumble Premium Live event, which took place on January 31st. On this night, Sasha Banks would retain her SmackDown Women's Championship by defeating Carmella after Mella tapped out to the bank statement. 
So at the time of this recording, this is the most recent Carmella figure we've got, which came about a year ago. So we're due for a new Carmella figure, but it is cool that it depicts this very specific time period in her career. It's unfortunate we didn't get an elite of this particular look. It's like that look when she was coming out behind the curtain. Definitely a cool gimmick here that I wish lasted maybe a little longer, but I wish we got an elite of it. But the basic here does a pretty good job of emulating that gimmick now this is a brand new sculpt and scan of the face and i actually think it looks good now i know it doesn't have the emotion like the elite had and the previous scans have but for this character and this gimmick i think it's pretty cool i do think it might be a tiny bit off in my opinion but i think it does a good job of capturing her likeness for the most part the hair is a new sculpt and it's like that yellowish color eh. now the attire itself is what really stands out but unfortunately, as far as the sculpt goes, she is, once again, way too tall. And we have that smoothed over belly button that drives me nuts and needs to be dimpled here. What are they doing? Now, as far as the attire goes, it is like a metallic red. And it, it I don't know if the camera does it justice. It's actually a beautiful attire when you're looking at it in person. It definitely sparkles. And that's a nice little attention to detail that they did. Even if most of it is just painted on, there's not a whole lot of sculpting. A little bit of sculpting between the chest. But the red paint is painted on, the little black accents are painted around. We have the arm sleeves, the bottom, same thing, just painted on with a little sculpting in the backside. And then we have these sculpted on leg sleeves, which are actually really nice, really unique to her, and look really good. And then we have those high top sneakers once again. So that's interesting. I'm not sure if she wore the high top sneakers with this gimmick. Maybe she did. But either way, it does look good. And in my opinion, this is a cool basic. And I think it's cool that we did get a depiction of this specific character and gimmick. Now it's time for me to rank them from worst to best, in my opinion. Now this was a very hard countdown for me. It was an easy pick at number 8, which is Basic Series 89. That likeness is horrendous. Not a fan of this figure. Now the rest of the list, I could easily mix and match, especially the middle of this order, because I do like the rest of her figures for the most part. Now at number 7, I have Basic Series 106 regular. I think the fact that it doesn't stand and also that body sculpt being so tall is why it's number 7. At number 6, I have Battle Pack Series 53, which is actually a really cool figure for what it is, but it does come with James Ellsworth, and that definitely takes it down. No, I'm just kidding. She just has really cool figures ahead of this. Now, at number 5, I have Basic Series 106 Chase. I just think this stands out amongst all of Carmella's figures because the brunette look, the one and only time we get brown hair. At number 4, I have Basic Series 129. Really cool that we get a figure depicting this gimmick, this character that she had. At number 3, surprisingly, I have her first in the line figure, Basic Series 70. Now, this is a pretty average figure if you look at the attire, but what I like about this is it depicts her time in NXT, and on top of that, she has elite articulation, so it's almost like an elite early Carmella figure. Now at number two, two and one were very hard for me. At number two, I did choose Elite Series 86 at SummerSlam Elite. I think if it came with the proper amount of accessories, then this would be number one. But I just couldn't put it past this one. And at number one, I have the Fan Central Series 2 Elite. This figure is just tremendous. Not only the likeness, but all the accessories that they gave her. The detail to attention in the attire. I mean, I can't say enough good about this figure, but for the most part, she's had some pretty excellent figures. Minus that basic series 89, but that's my ranking. I hope you enjoyed today's figure history. Carmella is truly one of my favorites, so I've been waiting a long time to do this, and I thought what better month than Women's History Month to cover one of my favorite women's wrestling superstars. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this and whose women's figure history you'd like to see me in the future. Now I am working on Charlotte's. That's going to take a long time. There's a lot of Charlotte figures, but I'm real excited to do that next. But yeah, just let me know in the comments what you thought of this. Now that being said, thank you for stopping by Lumberjillville. Women's Wrestling lives here for our first look at all future women's wrestling figure reviews and videos like today's figure history. Make sure to hit subscribe and become an official resident of LJV today. Also, make sure to head on over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use coupon code LJV at checkout to save 10% on your next order of women's wrestling figures. Stay tuned. There are a lot of brand new women's wrestling figures coming in the next month or so. But until then, I plan to do some really exciting, different type videos like this one. So I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great night, y'all.